Welcome back. I'm Mike McLeod, and I'll be your host for this segment of The Law Show. The Law Show is brought to you by the law firm Kerrigan, Estes, Rankin, McLeod, and Thompson. Our firm is a regional Northwest Florida law firm that represents people who've been seriously injured in accidents, and we represent families who have lost loved ones in serious accidents. We've been around for a long time, and we've hosted The Law Show for a long time, and so we hope that the show will provide helpful information to viewers and to clients. And this format of The Law Show allows you, the viewer, to text us during the show. We'll try and get you some answers. Uh, if we think your text or question will be helpful to other viewers, we'll repeat the question on the show and try and get you an answer. So we can be text at our regular phone number, which is 850-444-4444. It's all, all fours in area code 850. That's our office. That's our main line office number. But if you text me this morning, I'll get your text and we'll try and get you a reply. Also, my email address is mike.mcleod, M-C-L-E-O-D. It's on the screen there at kerrigan.com. You can email me a question or a comment about the show if, if you like. Our firm represents people who've been seriously injured in accidents. There is no fee unless there's a recovery has been made. Our lawyers who handle these cases are board certified civil trial lawyers. Fewer than 7% of the lawyers in Florida are board certified. So on a previous segment of the law show, we talked about the four elements of having a successful automobile accident case. And I want to talk about the fourth element of having a successful case a little more on this segment of the law show. And that is, you can have a case where an accident where the other driver was at fault and you have a real injury that was caused by the accident. But in every one of those cases, we have to find for our clients a source of insurance or money to pay what the claim is worth. And that can be a difficult thing in some cases. And so I want to, I've, I've, I've got some statistics this, this morning that I want to share with you and why this is a particular problem in Northwest Florida and in all of Florida. So according to the Insurance Research Council, 12% of all vehicles in the United States have no bodily injury liability insurance. And that is the type of coverage that is required on a policy to compensate an injured person who's been injured by another insured driver. So in the United States, 12% of drivers and vehicles have no insurance to pay your injury case. However, in Florida, and Northwest Florida, of course, 25% of the people that are driving in our Northwest Florida area do not have bodily injury liability coverage. And so if you're headed to the beach, you're headed to a movie, you're driving with your family, and through no fault of your own, another driver negligently hits your car, injures you or a member of your family or an occupant in your car, there's a one in four chance in Florida that that driver is not going to have any insurance that will compensate you. And the reason for that is that the legislature in Florida does not require Florida drivers to carry bodily injury liability coverage. So you, you'll say this morning, well, I thought Florida required drivers to have insurance. Well, Florida does require that, but only PIP coverage, and that's coverage that provides for meta, a modest amount of medical expenses to be paid as a result of an accident. Generally, the cap is $10,000. And property damage liability coverage. Florida requires that you carry at least a little bit of insurance to repair the other person's vehicle. But Florida does not require our drivers, our citizens, people that drive automobiles, 
to have any bodily injury liability coverage. And I want to show you, illustrate for you how unusual that is. For example, in Alabama, Alabama requires their drivers to carry a minimum of $25,000 of bodily injury liability coverage. Georgia requires a minimum of $25,000 of liability insurance. Mississippi requires $25,000 of liability insurance. Arkansas requires $50,000 minimum of bodily injury liability coverage. But in Florida, the legislature doesn't require us to carry any. And so that is the reason why Florida, in Florida, fully 25% of drivers who cause accidents don't have insurance. So as lawyers who are trying to help people who are injured in accidents, we have to prove the other person was at fault. We have to illustrate the severity of the injury. We have to connect the injury to the accident. But then we also have to find a source of money to help our client. Otherwise, we're not not doing them any good. And I mention this because it's so common for us to have good people come to us who have really genuine injuries that prevent them from working, that cause medical expenses, but the other driver who was careless, who might have been intoxicated, who might have been texting, completely at fault in the accident, does have any insurance, what do our clients do? Well, there are other areas where we look for coverage, the owner of the vehicle, if it's different from the driver, if a person is working at the time of the accident, an employer can be responsible, and there are other kind of subtle areas where we can find other types of coverage. But in Florida, we can buy a type of insurance coverage on our own policy called uninsured motorist coverage. And look, we're lawyers who do trial work and who represent people who are injured in accidents. We're not insurance salesmen and we don't sell insurance. But because this is such an important thing, I wanted to spend this time on the law show, which again is brought to you by the law firm Kerrigan, Estes, Rankin, McLeod, and Thompson. Our phone number is all fours, 850-444-4444. And you can, again, text me at that number, or you can send me an email at mike.mcleod at kerrigan.com if you have a question or comment. You may have a question about your own insurance policy. So in, in Florida, we can buy, it's an optional type coverage called uninsured motorist coverage. And it's reasonably priced as far as insurance goes. And uninsured motorist coverage is a type of coverage that you buy on your policy that stands in the shoes of the other uninsured driver. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars of liability insurance on your policy, you can buy up to a hundred thousand dollars of uninsured motorist coverage on your policy. And that means if you get hit by an uninsured driver, then you can make a claim against your own coverage. It's something you pay for, Some people are reluctant to make a claim against their own insurance, but this is something you bought and paid for and are entitled to. So if you're injured by an uninsured driver, somebody, one of these 25% that are driving around our area, then you have protected yourself and your family and other occupants in your car because you've bought this valuable coverage. So in fact, um, The legislature does require, if you don't want uninsured motorist coverage, the legislature requires your insurance company to have you sign a statement. I do not want this valuable coverage. But it comes up sometimes, and we have people that are wonderful people who are injured in accidents, not their fault, and they don't have uninsured motorist coverage. And it comes up too often. It's an easy coverage to buy, and it covers you and your family in the event that something like this happens. Uninsured motorist coverage follows you. So if you are driving with a neighbor, or if you're driving with a relative, or if you're a pedestrian, if you're on a bicycle, 
your uninsured motorist coverage will follow you. So if you're a pedestrian, you're hit by a car that doesn't have good insurance, your uninsured motorist coverage will cover you there. All right, another um, unusual thing about uninsured motorist coverage is that not only can you purchase that to protect you on your vehicle, you can stack your coverages if you elect to do that. And so if you own three automobiles, you can buy uninsured motorist coverage on each of the three vehicles. And let's just use that $100,000 example. You, you'll have $100,000 in the event that you are in any of those vehicles. However, in uninsured motorist coverage, you can elect, you have to pay a little bit of an extra premium for it, but it's reasonably modest you can elect to um, stack those vehicles coverages together. So if you buy stacked uninsured motorist coverage and you have three vehicles and you're insured with whoever, Allstate, State Farm, Progressive, any of these insurance companies, then you can add those coverages together. It's the only type of coverage in automobile insurance or any coverage where you can add your coverage, average, add your coverages together to get a bigger number. So in that example, uh, you would have $300,000 of available uninsured motorist coverage for you, your family who lives with you, and in some cases, an occupant of your vehicle. There's some s s subtle elements of that if you have a passenger or guest in your vehicle. So I'm spending, we want to spend this much time on this because it's important. We can do a great job on your case. We can find witnesses who uh, can help us prove that the other person was at fault in causing your accident. We can meet with your physicians and get a great perspective about how this accident is going to affect your ability to work, to enjoy life, to do the things you used to do. We can get your physician to project out future medical expenses, but we're not doing any good for you unless we can find a source of money to pay. And the easiest way for you to protect yourself is to consider buying uninsured motorist coverage. So I want to encourage people to get your policies out. See if you have uninsured motorist coverage. It's something that people, especially in Florida, because there are so many uninsured drivers, need to consider. One final thing about uninsured motorist coverage, it can also be underinsured motorist coverage. So let's say you're injured in a car wreck and the person who causes the accident does have insurance, but doesn't have very good insurance. And that is very common for a person who causes an accident to have, say, a $10,000 insurance policy. In a lot of injury cases, that doesn't go very far. But uninsured motorist coverage is also underinsured motorist coverage. So you can, and you have to take some steps to do this, and we do it all the time, you can resolve your case with the underinsured driver for their coverage, and you can leave open and still claim, and have a claim with your own insurance under your uninsured motorist coverage, which then becomes underinsured motorist coverage. Very important concept. So listen, this has been this section of the Law Show. I'm Mike McLeod for all the lawyers and partners with the show who host the Law Show each, each week. Our phone number is 850-444-4444. We can be texted at that number, and that's our main number. Stay tuned.